pray for you already in the name of jesus christ may the grace that lifts may the grace that announces let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you now you are welcome to believers global tv beloved in christ i implore you not to miss this important message you are about to listen to it is not by accident that you are here on this channel right now I strongly believe that there is something God is about to do in your life through this teaching and that is why I encourage you to listen to the end. Colossians chapter 3 verse 16 says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. Today is a day of divine favor and testimony. Stay to the end. Don't go away. God bless you. The Bible tells us that there was a city called Jericho and it said that that city had such a fence and a fortification it said nothing came in and nothing came out but when it was time for Joshua bless God for his name when it was time for him to take that city hallelujah the Bible says even though they were warriors and mighty men God gave them a formula he said go round you're going to do one prophetic instruction he says go round seven times for you to go round means you must face the north you must face the south you must face the east you must face the west and he said, when you are done going around, let there be a shout called Tehila. It's a shout that brings down every wall. Are you ready? Now here's what you are going to do. Obey prophetic instructions. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask you, we're going to face the four directions prophetically. And for every direction you are going to shout, don't pray, just shout. There are, you will hear mysterious testimonies that will rise from this. Are you ready now? So the first is my direction. So that's where you are. It doesn't matter where you start from. The most important thing is we're going around. When I turn here, you turn here. Whether that is east or west, the most important thing is that you turn. The meaning of that is that for some of you, if where you are is not the right place, as you are turning, you are switching prophetically. Are you ready? Now hear me. When you turn, you are you will start facing me, and Pastor Nat is going to blast that trumpet. When you hear the trumpet, that shout is a shout of victory. You are telling that wall, I am tired of watching you. It's time to go down. Financial walls, marital walls, walls of your health. Is there a believer ready to shout? So we are facing this direction. Pastor Nat, over to you. Go ahead. Go ahead and shout. 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 Shout on before the ark. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It's a shout of victory. It's a shout of victory. It's a shout of victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Turn the next direction. Face this way. I tell you something is happening. I like you to see the walls of delay. The walls of retrogression. Shame and reproach. As you hear that sound again. This time around, I want you to shout, seeing them go down. Are you ready now? Shout! Shout! Every wall, prophetically, every wall, every mountain, you go down, you go down, you go down, you go down, you go down. hallelujah hallelujah are you ready to turn this direction 
I'll still be facing you because I'm directing you. That's right. You are supposed to back me prophetically. Mm. Shout. Shout. Prophetically. Shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, amen. Turn to this direction. Every mountain before Zerubbabel, it doesn't matter if it was there before you were born. If your father could not move it, your mother could not move it, it's time for that mountain to give way. Are you ready for that shout? Go ahead, sir. hallelujah now hear me this one last shout hear me when the grave opened for Jesus to come out the Bible says an angel rolled a stone and sat on it and he came out triumphantly this one is a resurrection shout resurrection means things that have died your finances, your health. I tell you, there are creative miracles that will happen as you shout. Dead organs. It doesn't matter what they are called. Hallelujah. Are you ready to shout? You will shout, you will jump, whatever you have to do in the next one minute. It looks like a crazy shout, but it's a prophetic one. Someone who is tired of the grave. Someone who is tired of death. Are you ready to shout? Go ahead and shout. Go ahead and shout. Go ahead. Rejoice. Rejoice. A shout of victory. A shout of victory. A shout of victory. A shout of victory. Victory in your spiritual life. Victory in your prayer life. Victory over delay, over shame, over reproach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take it high for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Eh. It's a shout of victory. It's a shout of victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eh. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Hey, let the sound, let the sound fill this house. Rejoice and fill this house. He has made a way. Very quickly, there are two prophetic things I want us to do. Listen carefully. I'm going to give you one minute. I'm going to ask Pastor Nat to just play any song God puts on his spirit. I want you to ask anything you are trusting God that within the next one week, I didn't say one month, I didn't say one year. If you don't have the faith to believe it, pray over someone else's issue. But if you have the faith to believe, and I'm speaking to our global family and the many, we have a God that does not just hear prayer, but answers prayer. I think it was during Hallelujah Challenge I made this statement that God does not just hear prayer, he answers. There are men who can hear, but they cannot answer. It takes power to answer. He says, our Lord God, thou hast created the heavens and the earth by thy great power. Listen, there are impossible situations you are about to speak over for the next one minute. What is that situation that has mocked God over your life, over your family? As you hear this worship just in one minute, I'd like you to pray. Don't be silent. Father, I bring before you this issue of concern. Give me rest roundabout. Go ahead and pray. 
Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Someone is praying. Go ahead and pray. Before I pray, Jehovah needs. Go ahead and pray. Zaria, pray. U.S. pray. Canada, pray. U.K. pray. Koinonia Global. All who are connected, pray. Sabalaka harada siyata. He has taken away the fears and given me peace of mind. In the name of Jesus. Now I declare over you, these Egyptians you see today, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus. Now very quickly, I want to ask all the worship team, please come, just come and stand here. I want, I'm going to request Pastor Nat and Terry McAlmon to speak over your lives. Quickly, please. I believe in impartation. There is a grace that this man carries. He's been ministering the gospel for many years. And there is a grace that Pastor Nat carries. Please, only the worship team, members of the Koinonia worship team. My dear people, I want your heart to be opened as you receive. There are sounds that will arise to the nations. Many of you, you have seen the hand of God in your life. What you need is the grace and the gift for visibility. This is a man that God has helped. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to request Minister Terry McCalmon to speak. He's been across many crusade grounds through the years. He's done so many things. My first encounter with his ministry was whilst listening to Benny Hinn. And so we honor the grace that you carry and we know that there is something that can provoke that grace to be poured upon my people. We want to see in addition to that which God has given them, we want to hear sounds of worship arise from the spirit. And so he's going to speak over your lives. I want you to receive it from the depth of your heart and then Pastor Nat will come and speak over your life this is a worship meeting and we are going to utilize every opportunity. You may not have the opportunity to come here, but you are a worshiper. You can open your heart right where you are and receive. And this is to the many, especially upcoming worshipers across the nations. It takes more than a good voice to sing his praises to the nations. It takes more than just gift to last. There is a grace that keeps men. There is an anointing that, cre that creates freshness. Songs after songs. Hallelujah. And for all of us, whatever happens to one, it's our culture. It happens to all. So as we're standing with our precious people, we're connecting by faith. Please go ahead, sir. Jesus. The Lord hasn't called this house to sing the songs of the earth. He's called this house to sing the sounds, not the songs, the sounds of heaven. It's a lot of songs right now in contemporary Christian music that never ever were born in heaven. He's calling you to sing the sound that the elders are singing, the sound that the redeemed are are singing. It's not the same sound of the popular worship churches that 80% of the music comes from. It's a different sound. And this house has been set apart for that sound. This people has been educated 
and giving worship to the Lord. It's been evident all night. Your response is beautiful. God can't wait for you to get together. But from the front row to the back, the sound. When I wrote, Holy are you, Lord, I heard the sound of men from every nation. I heard the sound of the 10,000 times 10,000 choir and thousands upon thousands. When I wrote, I sing praises to your name, I was quietly sitting in the prayer room and the sound was received from heaven. It wasn't my song. I received it from heaven. It's got a touch on it that still, 30 plus years later, it's touching people all over the world. Why? It's the sound. It's not the melody. It's the sound. I started to teach that song, and while I was two lines into it, the whole congregation was already singing it because it was the sound of heaven. In that sound, healing flows without people being prayed for. Deliverance comes. Relationships are reconciled and restored because the sound, the sound on the CDs, every time you deserve the glory starts over. What happens? Deliverance comes. Healing comes. I have miraculous testimonies. Why? It's the sound. It's the anointing. It's that yoke-breaking anointing. So, Father, I pray for these men and women that a clarity will come to their ear. And they will know this is the sound of worship. This is the sound that catches my father's ear. This is the sound that makes the angels quiet and stand at attention because the redeemed are offering up the sound. I bless these psalmists, these minstrels, these vocalists with a new anointing to sing the sounds that are sung around the throne so that when men walk in off the street, they are confronted with the sound of heaven and they repent of their sins and give their life to Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Put your hands and thank you. We sing praises to the Lord. Praises to your name. Will happen here tonight. Your name, it's, 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 it's like a torrent just raining on you. Your name, your name is exalted. He's exalted. He Touch him, Jesus. Exalted. Touch him, Jesus. Spirit, touch them. Just one more time. Just one more time. 
this is your stream, Koinonia. Oh, your name, your name, your name is exalted, is exalted. Ayobo ko tebede, shaibe aduaba, ikemena, paime tua, paradie, iseme kwa tala, iseme kwa tala, ifene, wapelike tela, saipa eneme, wapele, wara, ikshebara kaile, out of your belly, out of your belly, out of your spirit, my God. your spirit tonight ishe berete ikala mana irebe suaba kaile mena saila before i just speak a word let me say something i drank from the stream terry released as far back as 2000 and Three, four, five. I think 2002, three, four, five. I will soak in the music. I will drive in my Kia car. I would come from the mainland of Lagos, Surulere to be precise. And I will drive towards Ekbe. I don't know if you know Lagos. And all I was doing was weeping, crying. And then one day, I was at home playing the piano and I felt like a blanket rest upon me. The fear of the Lord was in the room. I ran out. Number 12 will be a mystery. But inside of me, I knew it was something holy, but I, I, it was, I, I could not stay in that room. Later that day, I was driving. A relative who had never called me before, Pastor Godson no more just calls me i'm driving between cms and bonnie camp and he calls me i was using a motorola phone years ago so you see how long it was i picked up the phone he says to me he didn't even say hi he just said nathaniel does yet the lord my hand is upon you from today conduct yourself accordingly can i ask that right now that same hand that came upon me as I drank from this river. May it rest upon the psalmist of this house. May it put a mark of distinction. With that revelation came a word for me. How Deuteronomy 32. No, no, no. Exodus 32. Exodus 32. How would it be known that we are different? And then the Holy Spirit said, it's the presence of God. May that presence, Kabo, the Shekinah of God, rest upon your lives. The grace to respond to the dealings of the Spirit from today. For his word says, he will show you a path of life. There is a path, there is a way where the lions treaded not. There is a path that is not known, that is not common. Tonight, by prophecy, you are launched there right now. Psalm 40 verse 3 says, He has put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto God. May you hear the sound of the heaven. While Terry was, Terry was ministering, I just perceived in my heart that God brought him to further deepen our worship to help us stay and focus because there are many things going viral now that are not going vertical that the Lord will help the psalmist of this nation to be consistent not just to release viral songs but to release vertical songs that grace rest upon you such as I have such everything I carry and more I release from my bosom over this house now take it in Jesus name amen amen and amen hallelujah so shall it be unto you in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah 
Thank you for staying to the end of this message. But before you leave, I want to tell you a story. There was a father who has two sons. And so he sent two of his sons to the farm, like to go and harvest yam. So he called them both and sent them. The elderly one says he is going to go, that he is going to like go on the errands. But the younger one says he is not going to go. And so they left the presence of the man. And behold, the one that says he will go to the farm does not actually went. But the one who says he was not going to go, at a point he thought within himself and said, My father has been very responsible for me, so I will go. So he changed his mind and went. So I want to ask, among these two sons, who actually does the will of the father? It is the younger one. So as you have listened to this message, it's not about listening alone. If you're listening, and probably you feel stirred up. But later on, the zeal, the passion that you had when you were listening to this message dies, and you do not apply this message, it means the time that you dedicated listening to this message was a waste. So it is not about what you share alone. It's not about the messages that you listen to alone it is more of what you take out of those messages and then apply to your daily lives to make you um, better so i do hope and i pray that this message will transform your life will turn your life around